Today's video is sponsored by Tokyo Tree and Sakurako. Today's filming date is October 29th, 2023, and I think this this is very important to note because one, it's been like two years since I filmed anything like this, and it's just going to be interesting to maybe watch this in a few years and see if prices have gone up or down or how they compare to other places around the world. Today we are at Koska Mall in Yokosuka and we're going to the second floor of this shopping center to Aeon or Aeon style. It's a really big supermarket with a ton of stuff in it. It's one of my favorite grocery stores to go to especially because it is in the mall. Now what I find really valuable about this video is that a lot of you guys submitted to me over on Instagram what you wanted to know the prices up so that we can compare them to where you live. Now the yen in Japan right now is the weakest I've seen it in four and a half years the entire time that I've lived here so it's really hard for me to wrap my head around and really understand the value of and compare to other places around the world. So I'm excited to take you guys into the grocery store and I hope that we can start a really great conversation around prices and what that looks like here in Japan. So, hope you stick around and let's go inside. I'm a Virgo, so I made a list of all of the things we're gonna go looking for to see what the prices are. I went on Google and I searched like, what does everybody need in their kitchen? And combined it with what I asked you guys, what you wanted to know on my Instagram. So we're gonna go look at the different proteins, miscellaneous items like snacks, peanut butter. Um, we're gonna go look at the carbs condiments, dairy, the different produce, beverages, and hygiene products. So I'll also put chapter notes in the description. This grocery store allows you to pay and check out using a cell phone, so I'm gonna grab one of these to go shopping. Quickly change the language to English. And now it's gonna let me scan everything I want. This is a very standard, very normal grocery cart size in Japan. This one's actually a double decker, so I can put a basket on the top and the bottom. It's typical in Japan to go grocery shopping multiple times during the week because our refrigerators are really narrow and small. And produce here is really fresh, so it'll go bad if you don't eat it. We also love a four swivel moment. We're gonna kick things off in produce. First, looking at these apples. Both of these are local to Japan and they are 198 yen per apple. They do have samples of the apples out so that you can see what they look like on the inside and these are really beautiful. There's either four or five bananas in each of these bags and it is 173 yen per bag. I think it just depends on the weight of the bag for the going price. Also look how cute this advertisement is. It's rumored that Japan has really expensive fruit, which is true. So I wanted to show you one of these. These are really expensive fruit that you might give as a gift to somebody. And these grapes are 1,980 yen. Don't worry, you can find really affordable fruit options like these grapes, which are going for 498 yen. One of my pet peeves about Japan, and I think everybody else's, is the amount of plastic that they use. But here's a set of three carrots that you can get for 248 yen. Three small potatoes, 298 yen. Four small yellow onions, 248 yen. If you love mushrooms, I had never seen this many types of mushrooms until I went grocery shopping in Japan. I don't even know what these are, but they are large and in charge. They look like little towers. It's 158 yen for the three of these. Bag of Mikans, which is one of my favorite Japanese citrus, is 698 yen. We will crush this in my house. This fresh platter of party fruits, which has melon, pineapple, grapes, blueberries, and strawberries, is 798 yen. This little pack of blueberries is 498 yen. They look beautiful. 
<laughs> this must be a fancy garlic because it's going for 248 yen. But you can also get this one for 98 yen. One head of broccoli, 248 yen. The yellow and the red bell peppers are 198 yen each. Let's head into the snack aisle. It's like a little bag of bugles. These are so cute. Just like a tiny snack bag for 58 yen. My son and I love these salad flavored pretz. They're 118 yen. But trust me, they don't taste like salad. They taste a lot like chicken. It's really weird, but you should try them. I've gotten this milk candy in one of my Tokyo treat boxes before. I didn't know that they had a strawberry one. This looks so good. I'm gonna get these. These are 198 yen. Cheetos are a really popular snack and chip in the States. They have this like little bag. I've actually never bought these here before. These are 88 yen. Oh my gosh, these are my husband and I's favorite. They're like flavored ramen crisps. So they're like super teeny tiny. If you've ever had intrusive thoughts of eating ramen before you cook it, you should try this because it's literally like ramen. That's what it says on here. They're 88 yen, ramen flavored. Ramen flavored, you gotta try it. Little bags of chips are all gonna run you about 100 yen. Sunbay are rice crackers and they're so good. I like the really textured, crunchy ones like this. This bag is going for 158 yen, but this is also a really popular style. They're a little fluffier, a little less texture, and this is 138 yen. My mouth is actually watering looking at these. Oh, so delicious. Beyond time for a snack break. So this is the perfect time to introduce today's sponsor, Tokyo Tree and Sakura Co. And if you are the slightest bit interested in experiencing Japan from the comfort of your own home, this is the perfect gift for yourself or for somebody that you love. Tokyo Tree is a monthly pop Japanese snack subscription box where you will get up to 20 of the latest, most exclusive, limited edition and seasonal full-size Japanese snacks that are only available in Japan for a limited time. This month's theme is Mount Fuji Snack Venture, where we're headed to Mount Fuji with exclusive snacks inspired by the mountain. I'm really looking forward to these grape marshmallows. They have a filling on the inside. These are actually surprisingly really good. It's like a sour jelly. Please look at how cute this Mount Fuji cookie is. Muscat grape chew stick. <laughs> oh, it smells so good. It's kind of like a really fat Laffy Taffy. Sakura Co. is a monthly authentic Japanese snack subscription box. There's nothing like it on the market. They support local Japanese snack makers and each box comes with 20 traditional, authentic, and artisanal Japanese snacks. This month's theme is Wonders of Saitama, where Sakura Co. is partnering with Saitama City for a limited edition special design box. This is a curry sundae. Sunbay is a rice cracker. Oh, just so much yes right now is happening in my mouth. <sighs> Japanese curry was the best thing to happen to me moving to Japan. If you know, you know. All of this pairs excellently with Chapon Sayama tea from Saitama, and this month's tableware item is Wasaka Crane Chopsticks. Beautifully crafted lacquered chopsticks with a crane design symbolizing longevity and good fortune. Use my code ATLAS to get $5 off your boxes and the link in my description. These are make the perfect holiday gifts for somebody that's really hard to shop for. I hope you guys love it too. Let's get back to grocery shopping. Let's head on to the fish and seafood. Look at this salmon nigiri, which is fresh salmon with a little bit of sushi rice for 598 yen and you get five pieces. It's really beautiful. Here's a beautiful piece of salmon. The price of this is 498 for 100 grams. It's 153 grams, so the price is 761. Really beautiful. You can buy pre-marinated salmon fillets too. These ones are miso, which I think would be so delicious. These are all about 398 yen. These pre-cooked little shrimps, so cute. 
It's actually on sale for 288 yen. I like octopus, but I've had some really great ways of eating it here. Uh, so you can find it at the grocery store if that's what you like. I love buying these scallops. There are six of them for 637 yen. Eight jumbo shrimp for 980 yen. This is in the frozen section. This is a salted mackerel using a Japanese salt, so it's already seasoned and ready to cook. 498 yen. Squid is 598 yen. If you are a fan of tuna, this will probably shock you quite a bit because the prices of fresh tuna and fish I think is pretty reasonable. Beautiful filet. This is 518 yen for every 100 grams. It's 160 grams. So the price is 828 yen. It's like insane to me. You can also buy beautiful pre-made sashimi. This is a little more premium than what I just showed you guys. So this is going for 880 yen and you're getting about five slices. The sushi platters is what always shakes everybody to their core because you just can't get it like this in the States. So here's a pretty big one. It looks like you get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different types of fresh seafood. And the price is $19.80. It's insane. Here's another beautiful platter with eight different types of fresh fish and seafood going for 2,980 yen. Like, that is so crazy to me. Something just like this back home in the States, I swear, would cost me, like... $70. Another exquisite platter of sushi nigiri. It's like we've got two different types of tuna, some squid, other white fish, salmon. We've got scallop, shrimp, uni, and then fish eggs. This huge platter is 4,580 yen. I have got to know what this would cost like where you live because that to me is so reasonable for something fresh and made every day. I need to know how everybody's feeling about these prices because even I sometimes forget what they're like. So I want to know where you're from and if anything was shocking to you. Um, we're now headed to the beef and chicken section. It's pretty standard that you can get beefs of different cuts and styles. So let's look at a few of the Japanese local beefs and what they're priced at. I've never paid attention to this, but they have beef from Tasmania. So just as how the States really loves foreign beef like Wagyu and Kobe beef, Japan does the same. I know that they really like Angus steak and steak from the States, but I've never really paid attention to this. So that's really cool. This steak is going for 980 yen for every 100 grams. So for this piece of beautiful beef, it's going to run you 1,773 yen for an imported piece of meat. Somebody please find this as interesting as I do. Because I went on that really important scholarly website, google.com, and I was like, what's up with this Tasmanian beef at the grocery stores in Japan? Turns out Japan announced a Japan-Australia Economic Partnership Agreement to lower tariffs, which is basically the fee that you would pay to import and export certain things into your country, if you don't know. And so they lowered the price of certain things that they were trading between Australia and Japan. Well, guess what? The Tasmanian beef that I'm holding in my hand and I'm showing you is owned by Aeon. Aeon is the supermarket that we are in. So this Japanese company has ranches in Tasmania and they are growing, breeding, feeding, slaughtering, and then shipping that cattle to Japan. Which I just find interesting. They must get like some kind of like tax, extra tax break tariff on that. I don't really know because it's a Japanese company with an agreement with Australia. I don't know. Please let me know what you think about that. And I hope that was not a waste of your time. Here we have our Wagyu beefs. Now I know these can run a pretty penny overseas. So let's just pull something um, like this because I feel like this is something you might order from a restaurant. 
Now, Japan, Wagyu is really famous for their marbling. That's what's valued here in the beef. So this is going to run you for 100 grams, 880 yen. So this, for the two slices, is 1,434 yen. Takumi Wagyu beef. That's pretty awesome. Here's a bigger piece. Look how beautiful and thick that is. 2,156 yen for 245 grams. Something to note if you are moving or shopping here, like full steaks are not as common to find here as much as like yakiniku beef, which is where it's shredded into little bites like this. This is what's more common to do like little grilling or even like shabu shabu if you wanted to. So the big steaks and cuts of meat, those are going to be more typical in like the fine Kobe beef or imported really nice beef pieces. This is just way more typical of what you're going to find at the grocery store. Here we are in the chicken section. So you can get chicken pretty much any part of it that you want or need to eat because a lot of it is used here in Japan. Um, but I'm just going to keep it standard with the price of two chicken breasts. It's really beautiful. And you guys always love when I say this. I'm literally the same color as chicken breasts. <laughs> so two chicken breasts are going to run you 633 yen. And it always makes me laugh because I am literally the same color. This is the tofu section. And you can buy it in like various different kinds of packaging. So you can buy big bricks, half bricks, and single serving because you eat tofu here by itself with sauce sometimes and it's really delicious. This is the tofu packaging where you would eat it by itself. I love this. You could just pop one out on some rice with some egg and maybe a protein, some onions and soy sauce. It's 118 yen for this. This is more of a premium tofu. This is from Hokkaido and the price of this one is 258 yen. It's gonna be like a nice soft tofu. But you can just as easily find tofu for less than a dollar. These ones are 75 yen. Let's move on to dairy products and eggs. Milk in Japan is sold in cartons like these and they typically come in three different sizes. The bigger cartons that you see are the ones that I buy because my son is still drinking whole milk and they are a thousand milliliters and if you're buying milk in gallons that is about 20% of a gallon. This is an organic whole milk and this one is priced at $4.98. This one from Hokkaido is my favorite whole milk. This one is 318 yen. Here's another whole milk. This one is 228 yen. You can also find low fat milk. This one is 248 yen. If you're trying to find the easiest way to spot the difference between a low fat milk versus a whole milk, look for the notch in the top. It's a little cutout on the top of whole milks. This was something that was implemented for people who are hard of seeing, but it works really easy to spot whole milk from a mile away because you just look for the cutout and that's how you know. This entire section is dairy-free milks. A lot of this is almond milk. And these are ranging in price from 438 yen to 298 yen. This is what a quote unquote big carton of yogurt would look like. This is 400 grams and this is priced at 158. So this is the one that you would buy if you're like sharing with your family. My family loves these yogurts but they're a little more expensive. It's 158 or 168 yen depending on what flavor you're gonna get, but we eat these all the time. These are dairy-free yogurts. This is a soy yogurt, 238 yen. And then this one is so freaking good. It's a coconut milk yogurt. It's 378 yen. If you ever see this, please buy it. it, it it'll make you feral. Here's another soy yogurt. This one's 400 grams, so it's like a bigger carton. And this one is 178 yen. 
Eggs in Japan are pretty incredible. And if you don't know, or you're from the United States, we're used to having yellow yolks, which now freaks me out. Japanese eggs are these beautiful, warm, orange color yolk on the inside. Now, you can get your eggs in sets of 10, 6, and 4. For the purpose of this video, I'm just going to show you the prices of eggs in sets of 10. These ones are 258 yen. They're cage-free eggs. It's part of the marketing. I don't know exactly what that means in Japan, but these ones are 348 yen. I personally think the eggs are affordable. I'd love to know your guys' thoughts on that. This authentic Greek feta cheese, it's just like a tiny little block of it. I think this is really expensive. 980 yen. That is so crazy to me. This is the top value mozzarella from Hokkaido, which Hokkaido makes amazing cheese. That is Hokkaido, by the way, which people say it looks like a stingray. So if you see something that looks like a stingray, it's Hokkaido cheese, and this one's 298 yen. Huge block of Philadelphia cream cheese. This will run you 498 yen. By the way, a really great souvenir you guys should get when you're at the airport leaving Japan is butter from Hokkaido. You can and should be able to take this with you. So again, we've got the stingray. I love these butters so much. This is just like a little block of it, 358 yen. It is so good. Pretty much anything like this. So it's 200 grams of butter. This one's more expensive. It's 458 yen. These are heavy creams and whipping creams. This one is 388 yen. I think the boxes are just so tiny and so cute. They're adorable. Again, I'm always a fan of the stuff from Hokkaido. So I would be purchasing this one if I needed any heavy cream. And these are going to run you anywhere from 198 yen to 388 yen. Gosh, look how cute the tiny whipped cream is. <laughs> That's so adorable. This is 188 yen in case you were wondering. Mozzarella mixed cheese, 250 grams for 538 yen. And you might notice, I don't know if you guys, wherever you live, are like deli meat sandwich kind of people. You can't really find deli meat slices or like cheese slices for sandwiches at grocery stores in Japan. That's usually at like a specialty shop. Let's look at prices of some pre-made bentos. These are made fresh every single day and you're not gonna believe the prices of these. The salmon bento with salmon, rice, Tofu, sweet potatoes, some pickled vegetables. It's 598 yen. That is insane. And here's a size reference with my hand. Here's another beautiful salmon bento with a different variety of vegetables. It's the same price, 598 yen. This one looks like a burger patty with fried vegetable rice, a slice of fish omelet, some type of tonkatsu. I'm not really sure, it could be a fried potato. 498 yen. There's a beautiful, this looks like a vegetarian bento actually. This one's 398 yen. Wow, this one is stunning and so beautiful with the purple rice and squash and tofu, a little piece of fish. 298 yen. It's like unbelievable. There's such a huge selection of hot bentos too, so if you are in a pinch, want a quick meal, and you're traveling around, hit up the grocery store. This one is chicken and rice, 550 yen. This looks like a nice little Korean bibimbap. This one is 498 yen. This looks really good. Fun fact about bread in Japan, these are all going to be the same price. They're 155 yen. For example, this bag has four slices of bread. This is the same size loaf, but they cut it into 10 slices. So depending on how thick or thin you want your bread, 
that's how you decide. And there's a little number in the corner. <laughs> anyway, I always love that fun fact. So they're all the same size, just different thicknesses. And they don't sell really big loaves of bread. This is how bread is sold here. Just like these cute little mini sizes. Just to reflect again that like sandwiches, deli sandwiches for lunch, peanut butter and jellies, things like that aren't a typical diet. So that's why these cute little loaves of bread. Rice is sold in different size bags. I always say if you're living here to get the biggest bag you can because you'll save the most money. If you're visiting, I highly recommend going to the rice section of the grocery store and getting things like this as your souvenirs to take home because the rice here is just so great. Here's a small bag of rice from Ayomori. That's a tongue twister for me. It's like super northern Japan. It's 248 yen and this would just make such a great souvenir rice bag. This is the rice that we buy for our house. Again, I'm obsessed with Hokkaido. It is 10 kilograms and it is 3,280 yen. So for a 10 kilo, it looks like a lot of the rice is about that price. Here's another 10 kilogram rice, but this one's 2,880. But look how teeny tiny the little grains of rice are. It's like seriously such amazing rice. I'll never go back to eating like basic rice ever again. I feel so spoiled being here, but yeah, it's so great. Let's talk about the miscellaneous items for your pantry. This one kilogram of white sugar. Looks like a book. 248 yen. We've also got brown sugar for 268 yen. Little guy of Tabasco is 338 yen. Kagome is my favorite ketchup. It is seriously so good. It's 258 yen. I don't know why they sell their ketchup in bags. All of the ketchup is in a bag, but it's inside a bottle. It's really crazy to me. Here's a canola oil for 358 yen. It's like a premium imported olive oil. 1,180 yen. But you can also get something like this for 698 yen. This is translating to flour for bread. It's about two kilograms of flour. And the price is 918 yen. Skippy's Super Chunk, 598 yen. It's like the little guy, so cute. They also have these organic peanut butters for 698 yen. So you can get the creamy or the crunchy. The cutest little Nutella I've ever seen. 380 yen. There's a lot of different honeys and sweeteners that you can get. But I'm going to keep it simple and just look for a local honey. Of course another find from Hokkaido. Is this turning into a Hokkaido? grocery haul? I don't know. Uh, but this one is 638 yen for 500 grams. And then of course it comes in bigger sizes. So the bigger you get, the more money you're saving. Cereal in Japan, honestly, it just looks a lot like granola. Protein granola, 458 yen. Like here's one that has with beans in it. <laughs> 598 yen. There are only two quote unquote bad for you cereal options. It's like the cornflakes. They're not frosted, so there's no sugar on these. It's just the cornflakes. And then these are some kind of. Okay, these look so good. It's like chocolate crispies. But both of these are by Kellogg's, and both of them are priced at 298 yen. But yeah, basically the cereal section is essentially just like granola. I don't know if any of you guys eat Spam. I cannot remember the last time I did or bought it. I just saw it. So I figured I would include it. The little can is 438 yen. And the big can... Is 638. 
I have no, no idea if that's expensive or not. They have a lot of different pasta options. I feel like these are all pretty standard. 398 yen for the penne. 298 yen for regular spaghetti noodles. And of course they have budget friendly noodles. So this package is 118 yen. You'll want to look for the stuff that says top value. That's like the grocery branded stuff. And if you're curious about pasta sauce, like here's an organic one, but the cans are, I feel like these are just so little. This is 248 yen. I think you might as well truly like make it yourself. It's gonna taste better. And then these ones are 458 yen. Again, they're still like the little, little guys. And then you can always get some Parmesan cheese for 378 yen. This little guy. You can also get sauce in a can. I actually really appreciate the pop top like that. This is 338 yen. Pumpkin seeds, 148 yen. Sunflower seeds, 148 yen. It's a bag of mixed nuts, 378 yen. It looks like there's pecans and walnuts and a lot of really good stuff in there. Almonds, 398 yen. Let's talk about alcohol. So we're going to go over beer, wine, sake, and liquor. I'll show you a few examples of each. I really like buying these tiny glasses of sake and wine. They're some of my favorite and they're really affordable. So if you're traveling and visiting, these just make a really nice cap to the end of the day. And they're all under 500 yen. I don't think you can beat it. You can also get tiny single serving ones like this. It's 85 yen. Great for a picnic. I love these cute little gift um, variety pack of beers. There's six of them. It's a, from Kirin, which is a Japan craft beer. And the six pack is 14.40. Sometimes the alcohol will come with little gifts. So this is a Suntory um, gin and soda drink, which is just really cool, like a malt beverage. And it comes with a bowl. So this six pack plus your little present is 1,038 yen. The single can of Sapporo is 180 yen. The tall boys, my husband and like to call it, is 230 yen. For the six pack, it's 998 yen. They also sell cardboard boxes of 24 packs. And just for the sake of, we were talking about Sapporo, this is a 24 pack for 5,380 if you're getting the 500 milliliter ones. You can also get super tiny beers. <laughs> this is 95 yen. You can get them in singles or you can get a case of them. <laughs> it's 560 yen. Now the actual purpose of these are like offering beers but of course you can drink them too. Like I'm not a huge drinker but sometimes I want like a little taste of something so I do like to have these sometimes and you can also get tiny sodas like coke Fanta and these are all 68 yen if you're at the grocery store or 7-eleven or even a vending machine and you need a bottle of water these are usually less than a hundred yen and you can get Aquarius and Picari sweat for the same price I definitely want to show you the prices of these bourbons because it is Insane if you're a bourbon drinker, you're gonna want to listen up. This Four Roses bourbon is 3,980 yen. This Basil Hayden, which is from Kentucky, is 6,075 yen. Knob Creek, 5,280. Woodford Reserve, 3,980. Heard that Japan does get some exclusive bourbons that you can't get in the states and they're really cheap. My husband's even collected a few of them. This is Johnny Walker Green Label 15 year 4980 
And then the Johnny Walker 18 year is 9,500. You can get really great Japanese whiskey while you're in Japan too. So make sure you collect them and take some home if you can. These are ranging all under 5,500 yen. This one would make such a great souvenir, 2,400 yen. I absolutely love umeshu, which is plum wine. It's on the sweeter side, which is funny because I don't really like sweet wines, but I love this. This one is from Kaga in Ishikawa area. It's 1,475 yen. So if you see something called umeshu, umeshu, you should try it. Also, I'm so sorry. I don't know anything anything at all about wine. So I'm just going to pull a couple random bottles just so we can look at them. I don't even know how to say the name of this, but it's like 2,000 yen. Here's another one. It's a Cabernet, I can say that, from Chile, and it's 1,450 yen. But of course, you can get wines like super cheap here, like less than 600 yen for tiny bottles, especially at the convenience store. But, yeah, these all look like they're all under 2,000 yen. Here's some tiny, like, sample bottles. These are all under 800 yen. Let's look at household and hygiene items. It's really hard to find tampons in Japan, so the feminine hygiene section is all pads and panty liners. And the prices are all going to range like under 600 yen for big packs of them. Here's some feminine hygiene pads. There's 20 of them and it is 548 yen. These are lighter options like panty liners. There's 22 of them and it's 328 yen. Compared to the United States, I would definitely consider the feminine hygiene here to be a lot more comfortable, super, super comfortable, and more affordable. Listerine mouthwash. This is going to run you 658 yen. This is the toothpaste we like and use. It's like the Pronamel. It's 458 yen. The biggest pack of toilet paper that you can buy, unless you're going somewhere like Costco, is a 12 pack. These are the ones that my husband and I typically buy. This one is 75 meters and you're going to get it for 1,180 yen. Look how cute. Oh my gosh, if you have a kid. That's adorable. It's Monopoke. Pikachu and Friends printed toilet paper. There's 12 rolls and the price is 428. Also, make sure you smell your toilet paper before you buy it because it's usually scented. Not the extra toilet paper, but the cardboard roll inside. Um, so if you don't like the scent, you'll be stuck with it. These are the paper towels we usually buy. It's six rolls for 468 yen. I do feel like the OxyClean products are a bit expensive. Um, so you've got the powder on the left for 1100 the big jug in the middle for 15 and then the spray for 900 This is the laundry detergent we love. It's 448 yen. This is pretty much the biggest bottle you're going to get for laundry detergent. It's 720 grams, but then you can get like these big refill bags. This is 2.5 kilograms and that price is 868 yen. In the States, you can get like huge like gallon size, like gallons of gallons <laughs> of stuff in bulk, but here it's just like small things and then you can refill them. Where I live, we have very specific trash bags we have to use on certain days. Trash is just like a whole other conversation. We can have another time. But I typically buy 45 liter bags, there's 50 of them, and it's 298 yen.
These are the nighttime diapers that my son uses. They're so cute. They have Pikachu all over them. You get 22 diapers for 1,320 yen and they're amazing. Not super brand loyal to a specific diaper, but we do like Mary's and Mooney. This is 44 diapers for 1,380 yen. And then this one is 56 diapers for 1,480 yen. Depending on how old my son was, these were the two formulas we supplemented with and use at his daycare. So this is 800 grams and it was 2,700 yen. And then this is for when he was like older at his daycare. Um, now he doesn't use this anymore. I digress. This one is 1,900 yen. And these are all of the baby wipes. I'm gonna pull like a pack of them. These are the ones that we've always liked. It's 698 yen for eight packages of wipes. So you're getting 560 wipes. Today we learned a lot about different prices in Japan of groceries and produce. So I would love to hear from you guys what you thought about it. If you have any suggestions on future videos. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!